Okay, so this is the actual first math video of the week, which where I'm going to talk about content. And what I'm going to do here for you is review everything we've learned about in this unit so far, and hopefully this will be helpful. So we started the unit by talking about expressions, right? Now, expressions are just a math sentence. That's essentially what it is. It's a math sentence that exists to explain or, or represent a problem or situation. So if I walked outside and bought four oranges, and then I ate two and then uh, bought three more. Uh, but then uh, I also got off those three. I divided it by two of my friends. Um, and imagine that I did that all whole thing four times this week. Right. And so what I just did is a perfect example of a math expression because it tells the story of my apple eating habits or orange eating habits. Four apples were bought, two were eaten, then three were bought, but split between two people. That happened four times this week. So um, math numbers tell the math story, right? Now, the difference between algebraic expression and numeric expression is that algebraic expressions have variables in them. Now, remember, variables is just another word for a letter that could be any number. It's like, for example, if I put an A over here, now that represents a certain number of something that's being multiplied by four. So constants are numbers without variables in them, and variables are going to be um, these letters that could represent any number being inputted on that expression. So the next part is how, we, how to evaluate expressions. And as you can see on the left side, the steps to do that is to just rewrite the expression that is given. So here's an example, 4 minus 3ab, but I'm going to say that a is 1 and b is negative 2. OK, so we have to evaluate this expression. So how would we do that? Well, the first step, according to the instructions, is to rewrite my expression. But instead of the letters, I put parentheses as placeholders for where my numbers are going to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and replace those uh, parentheses inside the numbers that represent it. So the A goes in the first space and it's one. Um, it's bigger. And then the B that goes in the second blank is negative two. Right. So now we can actually I'm going to change the color of this writing so it's more visible. Now, the next step is to actually uh, evaluate the expression one step at a time with orders of operation. Now, remember, the thing about orders of operation is that multiplication and division are actually tied. They don't have preference over the other. I know a lot of people learn PEMDAS and they think multiplication always goes first. That's not true. You have to do multiplication and division from left to right. Whoever wants shows up first. The same thing is true with subtraction. And I think on my next video, I'll do an example to show that there are some examples on the bottom here. And I'll walk you through that. But anyways, continuing this example, I have to do multiplication first. There's a multiplications right here. And I have to go from left to right because they're all tied as far as things. And I only take one step at a time because it will help me not make mistakes. So I copy down everything else. And I'm going to do 3 times 1. So that is 3. And I leave the negative 2 in there. Okay. And then I'm going to do the next step. So the next step would be another multiplication between this 3 and this negative 2. So 4 minus 3 times negative 2, which is a negative 6. All right. And now I have to do the subtraction. Right, that's all there's left. And so we do what we normally do for subtractions. We do slash and slash. And it seems like I have to put them together uh, by adding 4 plus 6, which gives me 10. And that's how you evaluate an expression. Rewrite the expression, putting parentheses instead of the letters, right? And then once you do that, input the numbers inside the parentheses and work it out one step at a time in the order of operations so that you don't make mistakes.